Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects, Patreon. Uh, no, we don't have a Patreon. We don't have a Patreon for several reasons. One of the big reasons uh, being that we don't trust Patreon. We've actually done several videos about Patreon booting people off the platform uh, for no apparent reason, uh, you know, getting people banned from PayPal, uh, having really uh, kind of dubious terms of service. Uh, we did one video where a, a creator was uh, having Patreon ask them for access to their private Google Drive because they were looking for lewd art and, and the art in the Google Drive had absolutely nothing to do with Patreon. Uh, Patreon reserves the right to uh, you know, boot you off their platform and withhold your funds if you say or do anything uh, anywhere on the internet, you know, which I don't think we are in danger. Obviously, we're pretty tame but just the principle of the thing is worrisome. Like they basically, you put all your eggs into this basket and this basket has a broken handle. Now another shoe has dropped. I don't know how many shoes have dropped over there at Patreon, but we're gonna talk about their security team quitting, leaving, getting gone. You know, I don't know what's going on. I think they actually got, got gone. They got laid off and uh, Patreon is gonna outsource their security. So that should make you feel really, really good about putting all your money into that basket, right? Uh, so anyway, we're gonna talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. And I gotta give a hat tip to Black Sage D who sent the link over last night. If you wanna support us, not through Patreon, but go out to Indiegogo and uh, pick up a pre-order copy of Crimson Wren, volume one from Clownfish Studios. Uh, we are at almost $50,000. We have two weeks left to go on Indiegogo. And uh, the support's been amazing. Thank you, guys. This is the prequel to Shadowbinders, written by Geeky Sparkles and myself, and drawn by Jose Garcia. And it's a very pretty book, and it is going to be hardcover, over 130 pages. And uh, story-wise, it is a throwback to, like, 1980s-style action-adventure, if you like uh, anime from that era, if you like uh, cartoons from that era, if you like Spielberg, you'll probably like this story. Uh, it's really, really good stuff, and I'm not just saying that because we're publishing it. It really is good stuff. So let's talk about Patreon. I have done a lot of videos about Patreon, and we had Patreon back in the day, and um, it just eh, I never understood really why people set Patreon up because a lot of what they do, uh, you can do yourself. You can do it, you know, directly through PayPal or, or take some other payment methods or whatever. And all they did was kind of centralize. Um, you know, memberships, uh, which a lot of people in web comics and podcasting were, were already doing. And I understand if you don't have the infrastructure for that to give people perks and all that sort of thing. I get it. But, um, you know, they've had a lot of controversy over the last couple of years. Their uh, CEO said before that they're not really sustainable. They've had late payments. They've had angry users. They keep jacking up their fees. They're passing their fees on to backers. And uh, they were doing a ban on anime art. I mean, God, it just, they had a uh, commercial that was uh, talking about how all creators were welcome except for the creators they didn't like. I mean, just so many things going on. And now we have another shoe dropping that they have apparently gotten rid of their security team. Uh, this is coming from CyberScoop. A lot of people uh, talking about it. TechCrunch is talking about it. Um, so Patreon laid off its security team this week, according to several former employees, sparking cybersecurity concerns among users who are increasingly threatening to leave the platform. Um, I am sorry. Uh, Patreon is a nice addition to your revenue, but it never, ever, ever should be your sole source of income. There are so many red flags with this platform, in my personal opinion. Uh, the layoffs gained visibility after noted privacy lawyer Whitney Merrill tweeted a LinkedIn post from former Patreon privacy engineer Emily Metcalf. Wouldn't trust my data there, uh, she said on Twitter. I wouldn't trust them with a lot of things. Patreon, which boasts as many as 8 million monthly users on its platform for fans to support creators and artists, suffered a major breach in 2015. So let's, let's get rid of the security people. Hackers broke into the company's user database and released several gigabytes of internal data, including usernames, email addresses, mailing addresses, 
No credit card numbers or social security numbers were accessed in that breach, the company said at the time. In a statement to CyberScoop, Patreon said the layoffs will have no impact on security program. This is fine. As part of a strategic shift of a portion of our security program, we have parted ways with five employees. A company spokesperson wrote in a statement, the changes made this week will have no impact on our ability to continue providing a secure and safe platform for our creators and patrons. Employees have characterized the layoffs differently. I and the rest of the Patreon security team are no longer uh, with the company. Another former security employee who wished to remain anonymous due to the terms of their severance agreement disputed the company's claims. That employee said the team had already been understaffed prior to the layoffs, and the company had dramatically cut down on its use of external vendors in the past four months. Um, this tells me that I think they're kind of in trouble. They're kind of in trouble. There are no qualified security personnel, the employee said. There is no one there to utilize the tools that we had in place. A company spokesperson declined to answer CyberScoop's questions about how many security employees remain, but claimed that a majority of our engineers and vendors working on security remain in place. We also partner with a number of external organizations to continuously develop our security capabilities and conduct regular security assessments to ensure we meet or exceed the highest industry standards. In reaction to the news, some creators on the platform have threatened to leave and take their subscribers with them. Uh, you are destroying our livelihoods and by failing to provide security, uh, Suzanne Forbes wrote to the company in a tweet, my Patreon has always been supported primarily by computer security professionals. Guess what they're doing now? Deleting their accounts. CyberScoop has reached out to her for comment. Uh, and the third, this is the third layoff at Patreon in three years, guys. Patreon laid off 36 employees last year. I missed that one. And 13% of its workforce in 2020. It's not immediately clear how many of those employees were on the security team. So let me tell you this. Uh, we did a video like two years ago uh, talking about how Patreon is not sustainable long term. They had uh, a lot of venture capital that they were coasting off of. And they are not sustainable, um, that they're not making enough money to really support you know, what they're doing and that the long-term plan, um, this, is, this is the video in question right here. Patreon did an oopsie. The payouts are late and they're not sustainable. Um, yeah, that uh, they were looking to probably sell the company or just hold out until it becomes magically, uh, magically profitable. They've tried, uh, you know, creating some like professional tiers. And and here's the thing: Patreon isn't really necessary anymore. It was actually started to fund mostly YouTubers, like to to add supplemental income to YouTubers. And then YouTube rolled out its own uh, membership program. And most platforms, Twitch, you know, uh, OnlyFans, uh, you know, all these platforms have their own membership uh, capabilities now. Patreon is not really necessary. And the one thing people did go to Patreon for was uh, lewd art and porn, and they apparently banned that, or at least some of it. So that turned a lot of people away. And then, you know, payments were late and... Uh, there was the drama about the people they were kicking off the platform. They kicked off uh, some podcasters. They they kicked off uh, Sargon of Akkad, and they held like he had like twelve thousand dollars, and they just took it from him. So you know they haven't really been uh, winning over a lot of creators. They did this uh, really ill-conceived marketing campaign. I remember they're like, hey, hey there, fellow kids, come over to Patreon. It didn't do well, but yeah. So they've had another round of layoffs since we reported that they were losing uh, 13% a couple of years ago, which is really interesting. That kind of flew under the radar. It goes to show you know, how much attention people are uh, really paying to, uh, to Patreon. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Don't support us on Patreon because you can't. Uh, we shut our Patreon down years and years ago, and uh, I don't think we're going back. Talk to you later.